Hello everybody, and you're welcome to the D&D Podcast. Today I have a story from the module Curse of Shroud. Just so you know, there will be minor spoilers for an optional side event that can happen in the game. So if you want to go into the module completely blind, I recommend skipping this until you have gone through it, and if you already have or don't mind, then this story is for you. They all began near the beginning of the campaign. I was a Goliath rogue. I know that sounds very contradictory, but I thought it was funny at the time. Uh, Also in the party was a human wizard and a fighter who was playing the homebrew race of centaur. Now the reason he wanted to be a centaur was he wanted to have a lot of extra speed, but keeping the fire class instead of going monk. He wanted this because he had heard rumors about Curse of Strahd, and thought that we may be running away a lot. He ended up being very right about that, but it gets interesting. Near the beginning of the campaign, after our initial encounter with Strahd, we had the option of going to a place called the Old Bone Grinder. I believe it was called the Old Bone Grinder. (laughs) If so, I'm assuming those of you who have been there remember it very well. As we approached it, we were overly cautious. Uh, to the point where the DM was getting annoyed by how cautious we were being before actually entering the old bone grinder. We were doing things like waiting for the wizard to cast magic, see if there was anything wrong with the place, any evil being sensed from it, even though that's more of a paladin's area. And after a while, the DM told us that the three people that were inside come out. At first, we were initially hesitant, and they, after reading and running the game myself, I know how it was supposed to go down, but instead of that way, the DM just had them attack us immediately. I won't go into too much detail of what they are, If you have been through this, you know what they are and what they can do. And at the time, we were level 1, so they immediately overwhelmed us, and we had to run. This is where it gets interesting, though. Uh, At first, since we were in combat while we were running away, we had to run away and the terms of initiative and how initiative was rolling. The wizard went first, so when it was his turn, he bolted away. He had 30 feet of movement plus his action, so 60 feet of movement. The uh, centaur had 40 feet of movement plus his action, so 80 feet of movement. We all thought he was going to get away pretty fast. But then me never playing the rogue before, I had my 30 feet of movement, then my action, which was another 30 feet of movement, but the rogues get an ability when they level up to a certain level, so I suppose we weren't at level 1, but we were very, very low level. The rogues get an ability early on where they can use a bonus action and they can move one more time with their bonus action, their action, and their initial movement that they're giving at the top of each round. So as I was a little confused at the initial calculations because the centaur was supposed to be the speed character, the DM starts to laugh a little to himself as he begins to describe. As the three of you are overwhelmed by these foes, you begin to retreat. The wizard begins to run away. The centaur just begins to bolt past him. And then all of a sudden, the two of them look to the side and see the rogue shooting past them, 
at blazing speeds with a cartoon-like dust trail behind them. It was, it was pretty funny to say the least, especially since the entire time up to that point, the centaur was just bragging about speed and how he was probably the fastest among all of us because he had half of a horse attached to him. That became a pretty funny story throughout the rest of the campaign. Unfortunately, though, we never did finish Curse of Strahd. We only got to play about four or five sessions because the DM had some personal matter come up right after that, and we, we just stopped playing for a while because the DM wasn't able to, and we all understood why. But after that, we just never got around to picking it back up. But that was the tale of how the, the Goliath Rogue was able to outrun a centaur. I, I still always like to look back on that time and laugh. Even though I suppose when you think about the abilities the Rogue has, it should have been obvious. But I, I was still new to the game at the time, and... To a new player, I guess, that was just very funny. <laughs> Especially the way the game described it at the time. I, he, he was a really good DM overall. He had DM'd uh, several one-shots for a couple of us before. And he was always one of my favorite DMs. Especially since he was my first DM after the worst DM I have ever had to this day. But the worst DM is a story for another time. But that's all for this story. Uh, if you enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if anything I can be doing better or different with this series. I'm kind of just winging it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, I hope you all have a good rest of the day, and until next time, Roll well.